Hello everybody and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Last episode, we just got started. This episode, we've got a little quest to complete. So, I've been collecting a good bit of plorts and other stuff. So we've got hens now, which is good because I was running out, nearly. Well, not running out, running low, I should say. I never found that other hen, though, that got lost. Ten regular hens. Alright. So I'll just put all ten in here. For now. They are pretty hungry. And we've been collecting a good bit of plorts. I've got things upgraded a little bit. We've got some stony hens over here. Not these ones. I'm trying to get the stony hens to breed more. And you also kind of just get a good bit of uh, roosters from the, the eggs occasionally. So the reason I want more stony hens is because the tabbies love them. And if you feed a slime what they love, like as you can see here, they have favorites. Like rock slime's favorites are heartbeats, tabbies are stony hens. Phosphorus is cuberries, which I had a heartbeat and then I lost it somewhere. Okay. And I've got a lot of uh, slime rock plorts here as you can see so we'll finally turn in a good bit of these we'll turn in some of these not all, all right. that should be enough for now I don't even need to worry about those ones because I have a lot in here there. so And I want to get more stuff for the silo so I can start storing up more later. Um, the phosphorus aren't selling too bad. Sl the pinks aren't selling, selling so bad either. Kind of want to hold on to the tabbies. Whoa. I've never actually seen this happen in real time. Uh, the rock slimes are selling alright. There we go. And with that, that's a good bit of money. And I'm, actu I'm actually going to use it to uh, get an additional storage so that I can put the tabby plorts in there for now. Because then I can sell them later for even more, like 25. I've kind of just been filling their habitats with food a bit. And I have a port collector there. I don't have a port collector here because... I'm, I don't have a whole lot of uh, excess chickens to really give them. And I started putting the plorts in here, but then I didn't... I don't know if uh, plorts disappear over time, so... Yeah. And these guys are doing pretty good. Okay. I wish you could have multiple stacks of the same thing. Oh, we've got 247. Should I get another storage for the rocks? Maybe. I feel like I could use other stuff, though. I might. I kind of want to put a um, higher wall on there. So, in between, it is day 6, but I fell into the water like halfway through day 4. So I lost all of uh, day 4. I came back, all my slimes were starving, and they were trying to get out and everything. So that was no good. Oops. Ah. Back in there. I'm not too worried about getting a plort collector for these guys or these guys, because they're not a pain. Those guys will hurt me, like so. If I walk in there. Don't worry about my health, I will regen. Um. So that's why I don't want to go in there all the time. That should be fine. So that's why I have a plort collector for that one and none of the others. I do actually have another upgrade I can buy for the chickens. So they grow up faster. Hmm. No. Eat well. 
I say no, I kind of want to say yes. Um, so let's take care of these. If we can get the cave open within the next couple of episodes, I will... I'll honestly probably just collect as many phosphorus as I can and just shove them all in there and then just get like a tree in there and then just massive produce trees of fruit in there and just shove it all in there and collect as much quartz as I can from time to time. We'll see. Oh, and I have two boxes. I forgot about that too. So let's see what's in said boxes. Some money and a single carrot. Okay. And what's in box number two? Some hens. And a heartbeat. Okay. I will do this right now. Let me get these out of the way. Alright. And then I'm going to remove crops for ten. And start heartbeats. And get you. Sure. You can go in there. Live long, chicken. Oh, they are a mess. Yep, he is dead. Yep, that happened real fast. So I'm trying to get as many stonies as I can, because here I'll show you with one of them. I know I just brought one over there and then it came back. It's kind of relevant. Sorry. So, who's pretty hungry? You're all alright, you. Oh no, you guys are happy. See? He had that little heart come out, and he'll produce two. So, when they produce two, it's because they eat something. Or when they have multiple come out, it's because they eat something they like. Which is why I got rid of the carrots over there. So that I could get as many heartbeats, because these guys like heartbeats. Now, let's put all those in there for now. Put all the pogo fruit in here. I don't have more pink slimes because they will stack up on top of each other. Four or five is about a good amount. But if I get more than that, they'll uh, they'll all start stacking on top of each other. Let's see how many do I have. 27. Not too many. We'll get a good bit more. I can't put them back in, can I? No. Oh well. I'll deal with that later. There we go. Now we got 1,100, which is pretty good for now. Hmm. Should we get? Should we take all our rock slime or our rock ports and try to go to the cave? That's 150, 180. I have 180 right here. So we can't go into the cave just yet. But we can explore a little bit. Keep getting lots of roosteros. Alright, let's save these for later, for when they're much higher. And go. Actually, you know, let's get this as well. We'll get the water tank for now. So now I have a fifth tab. But I can't use it for anything but water. Which is... Awkward. But it's fine. I don't need to collect food right now. My food's fine. I need chickens, though. There. Don't need pink slimes, really. So we'll leave them here. Let's go get some other stuff. I'm gonna come back with probably... 20 beets and 20... Or 20 carrots and fruit for him. And that should be enough, I hope. Ah, they've already eaten the chickens. Oh, chicken! Oh, where'd you go? Live, chicken! Oh, man. Oh, dang it. Well, that's awkward. Baby chicken. Excuse me. Other baby chicken. Back with you. Foul beasts of the underworld. Alright. Some chickens. Good bit of chickens. So the reason there's a lot of grown-up chickens here mm, is because they've uh, 
me just throw this over here for now. So it's not right where they can eat it. Any more baby chickens? I hear them. There you are. Just collect some of these. I don't think I've read that one. Oh, and now as you can see, I will collect some water. So I can shoot the water out like so, and it will destroy a tar. I don't know if it has any other properties other than that, like putting out fires or things like that. I don't know. You. You, my friend, I do not want here, because you will make a tar real quick. I had a great big tree like this one here along with the along the edge of my property back on Earth. So we're not on Earth. Okay. It had been there. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it. And then one day I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural. It was just its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen. So, I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. H. Okay. That is a pretty big tree, too. I'm going to hold on to the rock slime for now. Oh, yeah, there's the up area. Oh, there's chicken. They just ate him. Ah, it's a stony chickadoo. Uh. Oh, they just made some of those. It's like right here. See underneath all this? Bit of slime. Where are you, little baby? I heard you. Hmm. No. Where are you, little chickadoo? Come to me, chicken. Come. Not you. He's like, right? Ah, I saw him. Where'd he go? Am I crazy? Did I not see him? Thought I saw him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh no, I have two. Okay. I guess I sucked him up. Alright, good. So now, let's check over here. It says danger. But so far the only danger here is falling in the water? Yeah? Which is not fun. Okay. So these are the doors I was talking about earlier where you need like keys to get into them. I don't know where to get these keys. I know you can get them, but I don't know how to open up those treasure pods at all. I think the keys are in uh, some boxes somewhere. I think. But I don't remember. Hmm. Okay, so this is just a dead end until we can get that key. I don't know if you need certain keys to do certain things. Hmm. We still got a good bit of money, even though I bought that, uh... Oh, there goes the pink. The water. I bought the water because I had a pretty bad... tar infestation. And then they all got out of, They, like, basically ate all the slimes in a certain area. It wasn't here, it was over up here. Basically... Oh, no, sorry, not here. Oh, wait, hold on. That's death. There's no way to get up there yet. I need a jetpack. All the slimes here. They ate all of them here. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Oh, look at that. I can... I can... Oh. oh there's another one. Got my eagle eyes on. Hmm. I might be able to finesse my way up there. Oh, nearly. Okay. So that's where the other Gordo was. But I checked over there. Do we go all the way in the back of the cave? There we go. I 
I save you and this is how you repay me, slime. <sighs> Very well. Like that. Filthy animals. Cleaned up. Alright, let's suck. Whoops. Get him up. And let's check the back of the cave. I don't have food, so if these guys are angry. Yeah, it's kind of just oh well. That's an interesting way it's to say Bob. Alright, so just that. Anything up there maybe? I don't know. I don't know how far the jetpack exactly can reach in one use. Oh, I just realized all those um, plorts they had earlier that I didn't collect there, they're all gone. Okay. So maybe there is a limit to how many plorts can be on the map or how many how long they have until they disappear. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. Okay. And we checked over here all the way? We just came out of the tree. Did I already check here for the baby chickens? Yeah, okay. So we've got some food, but we got a lot of chickens on us. All those hen hens though, they're going right into my tabbies. Hmm. Some carrots and stuff here. Nothing over there. Oh, excuse me. Nothing over there, it looks like. Okay, so until we can get a key, this is what we have to work with. Oh yeah, there's also this area over here. Which has another... Oh, there's a heartbeat. I didn't even know that was there. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'll come back for that in a second. After I take care of some of these chickadee dees. So there's three other paths we can buy. There's... What are you doing there? Oh, you're the one who escaped! Maybe. Alright. I also have a net on top now, so they can't jump out. Unless there's... They keep, like, all of them jump out. So that's pretty good for now. Alright, we got a good bit of chickens. I got too many roost rows for now. Um, that should be fine. That's a good roost row to chicken ratio. I should get some port collectors on these just so that I don't have to worry too much. This is all doing fine. Oh, that's nice. Alright, oh, get the... You want four roost rows and six hen hens for what? Um... Oh, that's what Bob looks like? Bob, you look cool. Pretty dashing. Alright. Let's get all these heartbeats and things. Actually, we can go feed that Gordo. I kind of want to give the heartbeats to my, uh, my rock slimes, though. But aside from that, we're doing pretty good, honestly. Okay. So I, have, I don't have any carrots in here right now. Okay. So now, though, each of these will give us two plorts. We're already making a good way back. Oh, look at that. That's 10 easy. That's nice. That's real nice. Hmm. I don't know if we have enough food yet. That was something I kind of wish they did with this game is, um, you could buy food. Just in case you needed food quicker. You could un, uh, unlargo slimes. Because I kind of don't like that. It makes it really chaotic if like one single slime gets out and then contaminates I will I'll say that word contaminates the rest of your slimes because then you get tar outbreak pretty badly I wish there's a way to un largo them um, also I think what I could do is I could throw rock plorts in there and then suck them back up I know I can't shoot them back in there but I think I can Put them in there and then it will suck them back up. 
that just... Dang it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Take care of these for now. Um, we got a good bit of food. Let's see how everything's doing. Not good prices. Okay. We can wait. Single... Okay. There we go. And I wanted to go back and get... The... A uh, heartbeat. Yeah. Because those are still pretty good. And I think I can jump over to them. If there's enough carrots here. Let me just suck you up and get you out of here really quickly. Alright, we can try. I'm okay with this much... Um, this many carrots and stuff. I think we can get that Gordo. The pink one. The... The other one, though. I don't think we're going to get him for a while. Because I have to feed him meat. So, yeah. I have to feed him basically like 20 or 40 chickens. That ain't happening for a while. I might get two coops just to make that happen quicker. Okay. So his magic number is 30. Alright. Ah, oh, we have a key. I'll just clear them. <gasps> no, no, no. Ooh. Ooh, that was, that was pretty close. Oh. Oh, my heart just jumped like 10 feet. All right, so. Okay. It doesn't say which one it is for. Um, you know what? Let's... Just two pink slimes. And a pogo fruit and some money. And then... A phosphorus and some carrots. Oh, and a heartbeat. Uh, I will take that heartbeat gladly. Okay. Well, we got a key, so now we can go into one of the other two places. I think we know where two doors are. I don't know if we know where three are yet. I still want to be careful. If you do die, you uh, you do lose everything. So that's not fun. I also don't know if Largos keep their favorite foods, like Tabbies and um, Phosphorus, if I combine those two. If they'd like uh, Q-Berries and Stone Hens. I don't know. That's something we'll have to experiment with later. But for now, we have a key. We have a lot of stuff. So let's deal with this stuff before we go and explore some more. Alright. Oop. You guys are hungry. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's put some of this in here. Put two more of you. You know what? Three more of you. Four more of you. Ah, oh, just put all of you in there, honestly. I'll spend my money now. <laughs> uh, let's get some high walls and an air net. And a floor collector. How much do I still have? I don't have enough. Okay. Alright. That should be fine for now. I should be able to leave that. And they should be fine. I will collect some of these plorts. Ah. Oh. Suck them up while he's eating. So that does waste their food. Alright. If they eat something and then you suck them up, they eat the food and then they don't make a plort. So that's the downside. But then again, some of them are really slow eaters, like Steven. That's Steven. And they take a while to eat, to get over there and eat. I didn't think that would go in. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. I need to get hens for them. We have a good bit of hens! We have a lot of hens. I'm gonna take all the regular hens. Uh, you're stonies. 
I'm okay with giving him some he some uh, stonies right now. I don't have too many rooster rows. Hmm. Not the not the hen ratio. All right. Throw some of these in there. This should keep them fed for a while. They should be pretty good. These guys are pretty good. How many plorts do we have over here? A decent size. I wanted to put a plort collector in here just so I could be lazy. Oh, they are eating a lot of my fruit, actually. Is it grown? It is grown. Good. Alright. We'll get that. Throw that in there. Feed them. They'll all be happy. We'll be happy. Are you happy? I hope you're happy. One last little bit of fruit. All right, and then we'll explore. There you guys go. Those, those are growing. Okay. Yes, I did spend a lot of our money, but as you've seen, I'm collecting it, and uh, we'll check the market right now. Once the the prices go up a bit, we'll we'll sell, sell, sell. I want the I want the tabby plurts to at least be like 25-ish, at least above 20. You know we haven't read any of the mail like I said we would, so let's do that. Hello, Bob. Hello, 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 chickens. Hello, chickens. Chickens. Hello, Bob. P.S. Chicken. Uh, no subject from Mochi Miles. Well, well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on a faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles as in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad. That doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the plot market like I do, day in, day out. Well, Dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my re request plorts that I know will make me huge profits later on. Oh, whoops. I was trying to scroll down. Uh, this one. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrice. Maybe you'll even reach second place at the very least. You can tell your friends that you helped out the great Mochi Miles in her conquest a far, far range. Later, Tata. Mochi Miles, top rancher. Wow. Uh, hiya, Beatrix from Ogden Orts. The name's Ogden Orts. I'm a slime rancher, much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. I came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to back on Earth, by getting down into the soil and getting your hands dirty. Did you know that the carrots improve your night vision? Yeah. Seriously? They do. I don't see why all the ranchers aren't just gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost out on the range at night can be so dangerous. Tell me about it. Well, don't let me ramble on ya here. On ya here. We'll be in touch via the range exchange. I tend to only raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kinds of requests from me. Looking forward to doing business with ya. Oh, oh. P.S. Ever hear of Gliding Ginger? It's a mythical veggie that is said to be the favorite food of the equally mythical Gold Slime. But some say that neither of them actually exist. Interesting! I didn't know that Gold Slime had a favorite food. See, this is what happens when you actually spend that time to read these things. Salutations, Miss LeBou. Victor Humphreys. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist, and amateur musician. Just like this fine music here that conveniently stopped playing when I try to mention it. My understanding is that Miss West was already informed you that to how the ranch exchange works, so I will spare you any further educations. Instead, I'll illuminate you on what you can expect from my own requests. As a slime scientist and rancher, I have a tremendous interest in the liquiform legion that we share this vast range with, the slimes. My studies often keep me from venturing out on the range daily. When I find myself short on particular species, I use the range exchange to fill that gap. Don't worry though, I will reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck in your new ventures, Miss Lebu. I look forward to seeing life breathed once again into the former. Twillard 
Twilger, Twilger Ranch. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. P.S. I once lost my favorite fiddle while feeling a feral, while fleeing a feral boom sign. Its value is only sentimental, but should you find it, I'd very much love to be able to play it again. Ta-ta. Welcome to the Shrine Exchange, Thor West. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thor West. I'll keep my introduction short on account of we all got work to do. In a long time, ran I am a long-time rancher here on the far, far range, and head to the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ra for ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they've got for what they need. Slams, port, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade complete by noon. Okay, so that's when it resets noon. Once again, more, inf more valuable information. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a healthy hello from them, so check your inbox. Okay, so that's also how we meet more people, it's the range, the range exchange. Well, enough John. We both got some slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Thora. And we've got two more left. Rise and shine, Casey. Hi, Bay. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights you out. Then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that range. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, Bay. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. Thank you. Welcome to the far, far range. The 7Z Corporation, Miss the Boo. The 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome and extend your our support in your bold new ventures as a slime rancher. Support extended. Wow. <laughs> support extended. Acquisition confirmed. Thank you. We would like. We would also like to request that you ex exercise caution in your first few days in the range. We did not do any of that. Until you get more familiar with your surrounding. Traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, you should acquire any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier. 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation providing the tools you need to get the job done. For us, for us, Malfi. 7Z Corporation. Outro. Alright. That's pretty good. So let's see, we don't have too much money. I don't think we can afford any of these, yeah. Okay, so it sells us sold out. All right. Yeah, like I wish I wish you could get more uh, slots for your inventory. I'd say like seven, seven or eight, and then have the water as an additional one. That'd be fine. What other nice things? Oh yeah, the unbinding of Largos. I'm okay with the, the storage capacity at 20, because you can upgrade that. That's fine. I understand why that is the way it is. Gotta be careful of, of any TARS. So we got this one here. Let's do this one since it's the closest. And we'll explore for a little bit. Don't mind me. Snow. Do I just walk up to it, or do I have to hit a button is my question. Button. Well, and the achievements are actually showing up now. Like in the top, not the, not that one that's staying, but the other one. I don't know why they never did. Oh, I think I know why they never did. Never mind. Mine, oh mine. So we're at the Indigo Quarry. Hmm. It went bust. Interesting. Okay. So if you do fall in the water and die, let's collect you now. Um. Okay, we got some boom slimes. All right. 
All right. Um, you know, I don't need any more rock slimes, actually. I hope I didn't just shoot them off to their death. Uh, nope. Oh, oh. Come this way, little buddy. Nope. 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 Okay, you're fine. Kind of. There you go. Okay, you're safe. <sighs> uh, can I actually get back up? Is my question. So there's boom slimes, pink slimes, another treasure pod. More phosphorescence. Oh, oh there's another one of these. Oh, it's stony chickadoos. I kind of would rather have the stony chickadoos, because there's two. Um. Oh, I kind of. Mm, mm. Okay, I'll leave that there for now. I'll bring that back to the house and we'll check that out later. I'll get enough money to. Okay, I thought he ate him for a second. To unlock the cave before next episode. It'll probably be day 9 or 10. Honestly, I probably could do it by day 8. Yeah. So eat veggies. Okay. Another treasure pod. Anything else in here? That I immediately need to pay attention to? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. There's also teleporters that you can go through. That's a different looking treasure pod. Hmm. They've all been green so far. There's that up there. Okay. Oh, there's this way. I didn't come from this way. I came from the way that I saw the Gordo. Not this way. There's red slimes. Okay. And boom slimes. Let me get some of these boom slimes. I know he didn't make a port, but that's fine. Oh. I don't need that many rooster rows. Excuse me. So, radiation. Lovely, it lovely. Let's just get as many of them as we can. And I'm assuming if the radiation goes all the way up, I die. What the heck? Is it a rock? Huh, I didn't know there were rocks. Okay. One last little radiation slime. Excuse me, can you? Thank you. Alright. I'll get a place for those. I'll probably actually put them in the uh, cave. Are there any puddle slimes? Oh, there's the puddle slimes. Oh, they're so cute. They're actually really special because they get really shy if uh, you're too close or if they have too many um, slimes near them. So you have to keep them in a little puddle like with just a couple of them. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. I will take all these slimes back home. We've explored a little bit of this place right now, but I'll try not to, you know, come over here and venture forth without you guys. Not until we fully explore it. Then, then I will. Anyway, I will head back to the farm, take care of all these guys, go into, or I'll open up the cave. I've already seen the cave, so it's not like anything new for me. There's a lot of stuff still new in this, but there's still a good bit that I've actually already seen. Like the cave and the, um, the dry tundra place or whatever it is. Um, I need to figure out how to get back. But I will, I'll see you guys in the next episode when I get all this stuff taken care of and a little bit more upgrades and a few more things taken care of. I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a lovely day and enjoy this episode. See you later.